Welcome back to Don's Life. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining today. We got my wife's 2022 Cadillac Escalade Sport Platinum, which we just wrapped in the forged carbon gloss by Vivid. Also did a ceramic coat on it. She uh, got pretty dusty, but that's okay. It's ceramic coated, so it's protected. Now, another mod that we're going to do is we're going to replace the emblems. They're the only color on all of the blacked out trim that still exists on the vehicle. We are going to go with the monochrome kit with these guys here. So we're going to try and take this one off. We'll probably break some clips in the process, but we're going to try not to, to begin with. And then I've already replaced the one in the back. So maybe we'll go back there and I'll explain exactly how this is installed. But I had to do this in advance of this video. So I have a little bit of footage of replacing it because when I was doing the wrap, I had to take the back hatch all apart on the inside to get access to this. So let's go. All right, so here is the before and here's the after. The fun thing about the emblem back here is you just push this button and everything opens. So I'm gonna explain how to gain access to this one. I have a little bit of footage. I'll make sure that I overlay while I'm talking. Well, let's have a look on the inside. So what you're gonna to need to do is there is a bolt underneath this little cover here. There is a seven or eight millimeter hex bolt right there. That's your starting point. So you need to undo that. Then everybody's favorite thing, you need to undo these clips that are sandwiched together in here. There, I did actually put that back together. So there's some little clips that just hook on with pressure there because you want this panel released from that top panel. And then you just got to get your pry tool or your fingers in here and start pulling the panel out. And there's just those pressure fit clips. I can almost get it. But once this bolts out, you'll have a little bit of leverage with this handle and you'll pop, pop, pop. And I think there's two or three here, a couple up here and some more at this end. There's another little cover right here. Using my nails instead of a tool. And there's nothing to take out there. It's just to gain access if you had to manually override this latch from inside the back. So once you get this inner panel off, that'll start to expose all of the screws that hold this panel on right here. So this whole panel, including this top black trim piece, it all comes off together. And there's these little holes in the sheet metal that allow you to push out some plastic tabs that are holding on um, some of this panel. If you look from the side here, you can see there's a couple bolts here. So you can pry this down a bit or you can unclip it. You can get a wrench in there and you can undo those. So two on this side, two on that side. Once you get this piece off, then you can gain access to the screws that are on the back of this emblem. I should say the bolts and then you can unbolt it and you can replace the plug wire and then it's ready to go. All right, the back is done. Sorry I couldn't film all of that. I was in the middle of the wrap and tight timelines and well, it is what it is. I hope I explained it in some detail that might be useful for you. So we're gonna start the front now. We're gonna study the replacement because it tells us where all the clips are. Now, if you look closely at these clips, these are very fragile, too much pressure and they'll snap. I suspect I'm going to break a handful of them. That's okay, I have a new one that I'm gonna put on but I'm gonna try not to break more than needed. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take off this intake shroud. That'll help us get a screwdriver in from behind and then add pressure to these points and just twist them a little bit. So these tabs come down and hopefully 
as we're prying on it, it releases them a little bit. So let's give it a shot. Well, I think we're committed. We're breaking a couple of the clips. All right, we're pretty much there. We got a couple broken. I just, there we go. So yeah, I've got one, two, three still intact and I got two and a half broken. So not too bad. This black piece actually comes off with the entire camera. You can get to some screws that are holding that in from behind. I didn't want to bother with all of that. I'm, I'm happy to work with just this. But now that I can see this, if I wanted to gain access, I can put a screwdriver in here, bend these tabs and pull this whole thing out. I'm not gonna need to, I'm just gonna clip the new one in. So let's grab it. All right, we got rid of all that color on the Escalade. We have the monochrome badges front and back. I just noticed too, it actually matches the center caps on the wheels. So I think that's pretty cool. There is no more external color on the vehicle, which is awesome. A couple more updates for you on some soon to be released videos for the Cadillac. We have a cold air inductions intake that I'm going to install in the coming days. So that video will be pretty soon. But before that, I actually want to show you how to put Expel paint protection film on your headlights. And I have just enough left from when I did the light bar on my Sierra AT4. So we're going to do that install on here. But anyway, if you liked today's video, hit that like button. Please consider subscribing. We'll talk to you next time.